Hello, it's Ruby, and today I am going to be sharing a very classic study with me. So at the moment, I am at home during the university strikes, and today I wanted to dedicate a good chunk of the day to studying, so I thought I would film it. In the morning, I went on a run, did an ab workout, and also wrote some of my book for 30 minutes, which is just a standard way for me to start a day. And then I lit some candles, of course, because candles are so, so great for setting up an aesthetic study space. So the first thing I was doing here was answering some questions for my approaches module. We are sent some preparation questions every week and these ones were on gender. So I went through and answered the questions that they had asked us to do using the notes from the readings, which I'd done the day before. And also just, to, I wanted to do some context research at the same time, since we didn't have the seminar, obviously for this. I watched a few short documentaries on on YouTube about gender. Specifically, this was just looking for some, some examples to illustrate the difference between gender and sex and how the discourse around this has changed in the last 20 years. So I was using an example uh, from 2000 and the outlook in terms of how we respond to gender was very different in 2000 to how it is today. When I'd finished with those questions, I did the readings for the next week for criticisms, which was on queer theory and sexuality. And there were two readings for this, which I had to do. There wasn't very much, but I've said before, the approaches readings take me such a long time because I like to make sure that I'm properly picking apart everything. As you can see, my dad keeps on coming in and talking to me, so I keep on getting distracted. It was just because there was something we needed to sort out that day. And so I, kept my door open and he'd come in if he needed to. Then after that, I answered the sexuality questions which have been set uh, in the same format as the gender questions. I used my candle snuffer to put out my candle so I could go downstairs. Downstairs, I decided to make some lunch. That work had taken me quite a long time, even though it doesn't look like it did. And I was making one of these bowl meals, falafel tagine, I believe, and it was pretty good. I, don't, I didn't like the sultanas in it, but other than that, it was delicious. And I had this with some rice cake and hummus. I decided to just work downstairs in the kitchen after that, so I brought my lantern downstairs with me because I love the aesthetic of it. And the first thing I was doing was just, um, there was a part of the sexuality readings which I didn't really understand, so I was doing some extra research into this to make sure that I was totally confident with it. And I was actually pretty hungry still after lunch, so I decided to toast up one of these waffles. I basically batch made a load of these waffles and then I froze them and these are just delicious vegan quote-unquote egos from Stranger Things and this is just a quick clip of me making them the day before. So I enjoyed that with some Alpro yogurt and at the same time I did a mind map of issues um, surrounding sexuality and discourse today. I like to use my maps just to um, think through my thoughts and come up with original thoughts and ways of approaching the material. Then after that, I quickly went through a Quizlet on poetry terms, which I have made, because I do need to make sure I know all these for our May exams. And then I did that week's readings from the Poetry Norton Anthology. So every week we have to read a set of poems set by our lecturer and they're all in this anthology. This takes a pretty long time because I like to properly analyse all of these and I like to read them aloud too because poetry is best enjoyed orally, I believe. And um, I am set six poems which are compulsory, six poems which are further reading and then a further few poems from my lecturer. And I just mark in red with highlighter, the poems I really enjoy that I find so I can come back to them later. So that took maybe two hours. When I'd finished with that, I did get myself something else to eat. I decided to make this brain smoothie, um, that's what I call it. It's basically just packed with nutrients. Whilst I was doing this, I was watching one of the lectures. Luckily, our lecturers have put up last year's lectures for us to watch on catch up. I also went through a presentation on metaphors, which one of my seminar leaders had sent through. Went through that, did some extra research to subsidise it. And then this happened. I'm now outside and that's because I heard a door slam upstairs and I was home alone and I thought someone was in the house. So I ran out of the I house. I would have got shoes. I wish I had got shoes. It was the wind. Martha had left her window open. And so thankfully, everything was okay. Safe and sound back inside. 
So then after that, I watched this other lecture on recap. This one was for the novel and it's uh, the context lecture on uh, for the waves. So I went through that, watched that. It was really interesting. I'm really enjoying reading the waves by Virginia Woolf at the moment. Then I just washed up all the things I'd used. And as you can see, I couldn't get the lid off the Nutri bullets. My dad helped me get it off later. Leaves are falling down. Then I went up to my room and I wanted to read some more of the waves so I sat in bed to do this because it just seemed very cosy and I don't usually do this but there's something lovely about piling up with a good book and so that's what I decided to do today and it was actually so so lovely I really enjoyed it. I also love this beautiful edition of the waves that I bought. Um, I believe this is a penguin one and I just think it's beautiful. So then after that it was maybe five o'clock and I didn't do any studying for a few hours. I did some filming outside and went outside with the dogs for a bit too, um, spent some time with them, spent some time with my family and then after dinner I just did a tiny bit more work and here I was writing up some notes for the waves. But that's everything I did today, I hope that you enjoyed this quick study with me and I hope that you have a productive week.